Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode in my Skyblock series that I'm going to be doing. So this game is a remake of Skyblock, probably the Hypixel Skyblock in Roblox. So I've already started playing a bit. So basically all I've done is I've extended that hair a little bit. And then I've extended the farm. Uh, my items are gone for some reason. So that's cool. So yeah, I extended this. And then I put a campfire then so I can cook stuff. And then I've made a pretty nice bridge going across to the main island. So my goal for this is basically to, to get all the stone gone and the stone over there. And then extend this out to like to make a different island. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Extend this out over there and over there and over there. So there'll be different islands for different purposes basically. So that'll take a few episodes to pull off. Alright, so the main island looks pretty cool. Doesn't look like this maybe some free models, but that's fine. So blocks. I can't actually buy stone, I just realized. I wanna see if I can make a wooden pickaxe back at the island. I did have a, a stone pickaxe before, which is how I started carving out this bit here. Oh I can break it with the nice, okay. This might take a while. So we're just gonna get twenty stone so I can make a stone pickaxe again. And then this episode I'm also gonna try and get a chest so I can save some of my items. I had I had some stuff before, but it it must have disappeared when I uh yeah. Must have disappeared when I went out of the server yesterday. We're about to hit twenty stone so I can uh Wait, can I get back up with this? I don't want to fall off, I don't know what happened if I do that. Oh, okay, that was, that was scary. Yeah, I can make this now. So, next thing I want to get is a chest so I can save up items. Hopefully they won't spawn by the next episode. I've got an island invite. Don't know what that is. I don't wish to go to anyone's island, cur island currently, so, oops, I'll move that. Put it, just space them out a little bit. I don't think they'll be able to grow properly. Plant, grass. Huh. Yeah, I can just drop that. I drop it to avoid. So next thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to keep carving out this area until all the stone is gone. So this is going to take quite a while and I might just do like a time lapse where I talk over it and do some commentary just so you're not really bored or I'll cut ahead if, if there's nothing. But yeah, oh I, I should probably give my thoughts on this game. So I played for like 15 minutes, I think, yesterday, and yeah, I made that bridge, which is probably the best thing I did in that time period. And it was really fun, it's it's well made as well. This was really well made, and I think it was a good decision on the part making the blocks a bit smaller. Because I don't think it would have worked as well with the the blocks like in actual minecraft i could probably go into first person that would, that would probably be pretty good oh yeah now it's the true experience i'm definitely a lot more comfortable with using my voice in videos now and i'm getting a lot better at it before because before like a year ago i made a video a commentary about the, about the event that was going on at that time 
but yeah, I, I unlisted it after like a month or a few weeks because I, I didn't really want my voice online, but now I don't, I don't mind, it's not as, my voice doesn't suck anymore. I wonder if the, when I hit 64 it'll be like a stack, let's see, I don't know, it goes over. I think it's weird how in Minecraft it was 64 for a stack and not like 100 or 50. That's cool, you can go over the... Because the, in the inventory is... I think, I think it has more space than the Minecraft inventory. So, yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of blocks you can fit in your inventory. You know, one thing I've realized recently is that I really struggle to get back into playing a game after I've like taken a break from it. Like, I stopped playing like in like 2016 or 2017 probably, as I had a pretty good Minecraft world, and then I stopped playing on it, and I tried to get back to playing it, but I really just couldn't. I think part of it was because I didn't want to really want to change anything in it. Like I was, I was scared to change anything because I don't want to ruin anything. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me, but whenever I, whenever I, I haven't played the game in a while, I struggle to play it again. It was the same with Geometry Dash because early 2019, I stopped. Pl I stopped really playing. I was in the community still. I was still watching videos and stuff. But I've really played for myself. It's one of the rare occurrences where I've actually been able to get back into a game. I've heard some other people say that they struggle to get back into games after taking breaks. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I'm actually just gonna quickly go back up and check my trees and see if I can make anything in the crafting table. Or is it called a workbench in this? I don't know, let me see. Yeah, workbench. I should probably mention that in a few days, or oh, actually just tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing my race for the for the mobile race tournament. Which is like the Geometry Ash World Cup tournament, but only mobile players can compete. So I'm with I'm going against uh Mr. Budgie for the first round who is one of the best players, and I got really unlucky with that. At least I didn't get with Thunder or like Venfi. I think he's in this one as well. I'll probably be making a video on that, so stay tuned if I do. So I, I expect to lose. Even even though it's just an easy demon, he'll probably be able to do do it in like 20, 30 attempts and I'll, I'll take three times as long as him. I think it'll be fun though because yeah I've never, I've never done a tournament before and yeah I don't really expect, I didn't really expect to get past like the first round anyway. But yeah, I think there'll definitely be more tournaments chase tournaments in the near future that I'll be able to participate in which will be fun maybe in one of them I'll actually get past the first round but no further no further than round two though no way right now in jump chase actually I'm trying to beat temple of destiny and I got 80% twice like like a week ago and then I just gave up kind of or well, I didn't give up but I it's just not enjoyable anymore. It was enjoyable at first, but now it's not. So I don't know if I'll actually be able to finish that anytime soon. Or maybe it'll, it'll be like Ada, where I get lucky and beat it some random day. Or like, like Hyperia, where I get some progress and then I leave it for, for half a year and I beat it. Recently I went through the process of or not deleting, unlisting all of my old, like a lot of my old videos. Not all of them. I left the good ones up, but the just like a bunch of the the random speedruns and like complete.
completions of daily levels. I took those down because they're just not worth having up. Ah, uh, yeah. I wanna like have uh have all my good videos up like I don't want people to go to my channel and see like oh what else does he have and then it's just a bunch of random completions and speedruns. I wanna give like a good image on the channel. I think this whole episode is probably just gonna be me mining stone. Hopefully my commentary makes up for that though. While I was uh, going back and unlisting a lot of my videos, and I saw the old Flee the Facility videos, and I think I'm gonna start those back up again too, because those are pretty fun to make, and they'll probably def no, they'll definitely be a lot better now that my voice is in them. And it's not just... Oh, actually... I don't even use text back then, I just, I just crop, I mean, I just cut, cut clips together and, and like, I just sped them up and slowed them down sometimes. Oh, one of those I, I made like a few months ago, just randomly, because I felt like it. I used text, but that's the, that's the only one. What's that? Doing? What is that? I think that might be iron. But I might need a different pickaxe to mine it. Because with this one, I'm not able to. Let's see how much we've done. Oh, well, that's like a good two thirds. I think I'm gonna cut the rest of this out and get back to you guys when I'm finished running out of the stone so see you then hey I'm back so while I was gone I did all of this all of yeah everything over here and then I got rid of a little bit of the stuff over there, down there and I left a tiny bit of the platform left so I could get that later and I've also made a platform here so it's easier to get up and down and stuff. While I was gone, I actually, while I was trying to get up, I accidentally fell off, but it just respawned me back up here with all my herbs. So yeah, you don't die. Also, while I was gone, I went back up and chopped down some trees. So I, I'm one wood away from being able to make a chest, which is what I will do now. All right, now I can make a chest. Here we go. Put it there. Not very big, but it will suffice. I can actually also make a stone axe, so I'll do that. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this axe in the chest. Oh, I see. Oh, I, I see how that works. I just accidentally uh, broke one of these, so I'll probably need to make a plow. I have to make it, okay. Easy. I'll put this in the chest, actually. Does it, what's going on? Uh, hello? Chest, not what? Let me just put the plow in there. I'm just gonna have a look at the crafting table and see if there's anything, anything useful I can make. Um. Oh yeah, that's that's probably should probably be my main goal. Okay, so this, yeah, these two, one sword and a workbench. So that's definitely what I'll be doing in the next episode. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. It's my first, or oh, my second time doing a video like this. So, I'm very experienced, so give me some feedback. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.